Okay, last Friday, or Friday, um, I seen that it was going to be a 1% moon, and I said, wow, I hope I can catch it. There was some clouds on the horizon. Um, so I was hoping that uh, it would give me enough break to where I could see this, but uh, just right after uh, the sun went beyond our line of sight, um, I, I still could not see uh, the moon at all, and I certainly couldn't see Venus, so I actually went from Pine Island um, over to Bayport, and I shot this from Bayport, um, and, you know, I, I share it because I always think that the 1% moon is always hard to catch, and it's also a, a cool sight to see. Um, I also did some time lapses and, and a few pictures that I'll be sharing, too, um, but, you know, the, the whole thing, um, you know, does the moon um, cast its own light? Um, you know, that's always a good question. Um, you know, and if I look at where the moon is and where the sun, uh, you know, departed our view, um, it does kind of line up with it. But I've done other videos where, um, you know, especially during the days where it did not line up to it. Um, plus also when you do a, a time lapse, if the, um, sun is beyond the moon and it's shining on the backside, um, how would, when I do a time lapse, why would, uh, that light be lighting up the backside of the moon? Um, well, you know, somebody might say refraction, but, you know, refraction isn't going to go all the way around the ball. <laughs> if it's a ball, um, you know, could the moon be a disc? That's a, actually a possibility, but I am not going to make a claim and say that it is a disc, but I also um, think that there's, you know, the optical illusion of a ball because you could stand out in the middle of a field with a plate, say a white plate, uh, a flat white plate, um, and if I videotaped you from a long distance away, you know, you could actually make it look like you're holding a ball in your hand when in fact you're holding a plate in your hand. Um, so you do have the optical effect of that. And, you know, if the moon supposedly is, uh, you know, a quarter of a million miles away, wow, what a great job I do in focusing in on the moon. But then I get the trolls that tell me, oh, I can't focus at all. Um, so I have, you know, I, I'm not a very good photographer. Um, getting the stars in focus is another thing too. Um, you know, especially when they're on, on the horizon and you're shooting through a, a lot of, um, you know, different weather conditions. Now, I've got my camera, my P1000 um, on the manual um, exposure mode, um, and as I cut the light, you, you can see that, uh, Venus is not perfectly round, um, and I also, I was having a hard time getting it in really good focus because it was windy out, and that was another thing too, man, when it's windy out and you're at full zoom, um, even with me, you know, clamping my camera down, I was still getting some, <laughs> some vibration, um, I mean, it was a pretty hard win, too. Um, again, when I um, filmed this before um, and got it uh, in really good focus, um, I've got some videos out on my channel that you can see it's in a half crescent. Um, so it's similar to our moon. Um, right here, I'm cutting the light back on it, and you can see how it, how it uh, is not quite a full circle. Um, so again, um, having a hard time focusing on it, folks, uh, in the wind. So cut me a little slack there. Um, the trolls, you know, are always trolling around, uh, making excuses. And that's something too, that you cannot, I mean, they just one excuse after another, they'll, they'll excuse every piece of evidence away that you've got for a flat earth. But that's okay, because they can say and do whatever they like. It doesn't bother me none, really. 
Um, I, I try to converse with them, but as soon as I see that it's a waste of time and that, you know, I'm not going to get anywhere with it and I'm not going to argue with people because arguing with people just is not really going to get anywhere either. Um, but I also had my uh, B700 with me. Um, so the the last of uh, um, the last three time lapses I do is going to be with the uh, the B seven hundred, and you can see a couple of planes fly by, and I'm not sure, but I think I think that was Mercury just above the moon, uh, the little lesser bright light. I think I believe that was Mercury. I'm not sure. I had my star chart out. Uh, map out um, but I, I really wasn't paying attention so I'm not really sure if that's mercury right there um, and then again here you got mercury it's getting lower on the horizon and as you see it, it all goes pretty much uh, um, in, into this red phase where everything's red and you'll see it right here uh, with uh, me zooming in on Venus Again, once it gets down into this really heavy uh, condensed water vapor, um, it changes colors. Um, and you'll see that even with the moon, too, um, as it approaches and as it um, departs our view. The, this is with the, the B700. I did these from a you know, longer distance away, not zoomed in at all. Um, and then... This next one, I put it on here too, just to show you how what it will look like if you out of focus, when you get out of focus. I mean, look how much bigger all the lights are. And that's something that you'll see when people show star videos and then they say, oh, this is what it's supposed to look like. And it's completely out of focus. I don't buy into that. And I, and I do complain to other channels for using them as and making the claim that that's what the star actually looks like. Um, because I, I don't buy into that. <clears throat> um, and then um, to the west of me, or to the east of me, excuse me, um, there was a, a storm going on, and you could not hear any of this lightning, no thunder, no nothing. Um, but when I looked at my radar, um, this, this stuff was like way away. It was halfway across the state. Um, so, you know, I'm sitting there going, yeah, and... You know, it, it should be down below the curve a lot more um, than what I'm seeing it. Um, you know, it's 60 miles away, 70 miles away, it was possibly. Um, I didn't really, you know, pin it down as far as its actual distance. But this was one uh, from even a further distance away. Lower on the horizon means further away. And again, no sound, no, no thunder, no booms, no nothing. Um, and believe me, I was listening really hard. Um, but the, the one second picture, these are long exposure time lapse. And, and I put it in the uh, Star Trail time lapse picture mode. And this one was the one that uh, there was a boat coming down the water, um, down the uh, Wikiwachi River here. And uh, it was a mullet boat and its lights were on. Um, as they're gigging for mullet and of course I waited a little too long and uh, caught some of its light in there. So I just brought that up just uh, if people were curious about why it had a light in there. And thanks for watching. Have a good one.